Hey guys, it is Thursday, November 11th, two days after the apocalypse. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, I've, I've gotten to work early this morning, far earlier than I normally get here. I dropped my daughter off at school and I just kept going. Normally I go back to the house and get dressed and blah, blah, blah. But I'm here. I took off yesterday in advance. I put in for this day uh, yesterday to be off in advance of the election because I knew if Donald Trump should win. I was going to need a day. Um, and it's so weird what all is happening right now because I walked out of my house this morning um, looking at the door, looking at the garage door, partly um, anticipating that somebody may have wrote the word nigga on my door. But luckily nothing like that happened. But that just speaks to the sensitivity level right now <clears throat> with what's happening. Um, but anyway, I am here at work. I have been sitting in my car for about... Maybe about 45 minutes. <laughs> I, I work in an office and I've been speaking with people who got like a similar situation to mine. Where in my office, I'm the only uh, black person. And so luckily, I don't work with um, a bunch of people who are like stupid. So, you know, we, we don't talk about uh, certain issues in the news, which is interesting because we literally don't talk about them. Nobody mentions it. Um, and I used to think, well, why are we not, nobody's talking about it. So I could assume, look, I'm not assuming anything. I think it's all in our best interest to steer clear of these sensitive conversations at work because this is work and there's a time and a place for everything. And the place to have these discussions for me is not at work because, you know, you might say the wrong thing and then I'm not the kind to let you just say whatever you say and then not say anything. So yeah, so we don't need to have those discussions at work. So I'm good with that. So my plan today is to go in and uh, put my earphones in and I'll probably have my office door closed most of the day just to focus on what I need to focus on. And yeah, and I'm just going to get through this day and keep it moving. I will be posting things here shortly. Um, there is a black business catalog that is due to come out Monday, um, which is perfect timing for Black Friday shopping. It's all black businesses where you can, you know, shop and order stuff and because we need to do more of that. Again, working with folks and trying to promote folks who are trying to put frameworks and infrastructure around all of these black businesses that we have that a lot of us don't even know exist you know and so working on that so look for that and I'll be posting a video about that because we need to support black businesses um, a part of what is hindering our community's progress is that we spend 1.4 trillion dollars a year and a lot of that money is circulated outside of our um, culture because we are not spending a lot of this money with black businesses and when you spend money for uh, businesses owned by your community those businesses those dollars tend to circulate more within your community meaning black businesses are more likely to hire um, minorities black businesses are more likely to partner with other businesses who are also minority so that dollar circulates in your community with the obvious benefit so we need to do more of that okay so look for that video coming soon um and yeah so i just wanted to check in see how everybody's doing how is everyone handling um what's happening out here in our world right now um i, I saw some clips on social media with all the protests my household since the election we have not um looked at any news um we are taking a break especially from the 24-hour news cycle like on msnbc cnn of course you know i don't watch fox anyway um but taking a break from all of that it to me it serves no purpose it does more harm than good at this point because what's done is done as far as what happened on tuesday so i have no need to listen to pundits talk over and over and over about how did we get it so wrong what do we need to do now I had it right. I told you so. All of that foolishness, not interested in it at all. I feel like it's just a negative and it can be depressing. So we have turned it off and I recommend you guys do the same because what 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 is it serving? What is it benefiting you at this point? Find something that is either going to help you move forward. What's your personal plan? What's your family plan? What, what is what is it that you can contribute to a community plan to um, work on the things we need to work on? Let that be your focus and don't listen to these pundits and all this stuff 
in the national media because guess what it didn't serve us and it's not going to serve us it just drains your energy we don't have time for that people we don't okay so anyway let me get in here and uh <laughs> yeah let's hope this day goes the way it should go because you know i am just so not the one to um just let something go if you say something stupid but again i don't anticipate anybody who i've worked with directly saying anything like that because that's not the type of people i've worked with um they they have never exhibited that kind of foolish behavior or insensitive behavior so we'll see but uh, anyway you guys have a good day and i'll talk to you later bye